holy grail of the sport of greyhound racing, the Sports Bet Melbourne Cup. First of all, boys, uh, congratulations, Ray. We had you on this show last week and you were in tears because your dog, Aussie Rocks, had made it into a, a Sports Bet Melbourne Cup final. You told us you've been in this game for more than three decades and you've been waiting for this moment. How does it feel now that you've just won this Melbourne Cup? It's just, it's surreal. Honestly, I've got no idea what's just happened, but <laughs> all I know, we've got a Gold Cup sitting in front of us. Yeah. And Jeffrey, has it sunk in yet? Uh, not yet, but I will with a few scotches, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> and the relationship between you two, how far does it go back, oh, right? About 15 years. Yeah, and how did, it, how did it come about? Just when Jeff had the farm down in Keysborough, he trained a, a couple of dogs for me and it just grew from there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mad, madness. Did you rock up here tonight thinking you could win? Yeah. Um, we rocked up here, thought we would have a chance. Like from box five, very hard to run these dogs, like these group of dogs. But yep. we thought if it opens up a little bit, if he comes out like he does in the meadows, which he comes out humming all the time, most of the time. Yeah. But um, at the start here, a few three races back, he um, sort of couldn't get his feet. But the last couple of runs, I thought he must be getting his confidence back here. Yep. Talk us through this race here, mate. We're about to play it from the get-go. I haven't even seen go. the race. <laughs> Talk us through it. What are you thinking now? Well, I'm, I'm thinking he's up there with him. He sits behind him. Yep. And he you were... rails up. Yeah. He's, he's a half a chance because he's a very strong dog. Yeah. And Did this, you... Uh, this, you know, yeah. You see Big Energy make a little bit of a move here. Come up next year. Do you think to yourself we're stronger than him? We've had 600-metre yeah. preparation. We can hold him out? Yes, exactly. I thought he's on the fence too. He loves the rail. He won't get off the rail. And now, look at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 it's me, the first you, time I've seen that. Do you, do you, uh, do you jump on GRV Fast Track or uh, YouTube much and watch the replays of your dogs when they win? Yeah, every night. <laughs> <laughs> how, many to, how many times is this thing going to get played in the next oh. 24 hours? Uh, let's go break. I'll tell you the, <laughs> if we, if unbelievable. We got, if we can show that replay once again so the lads can see it for the second time, Ray, I want you to talk us through it because you were watching from upstairs. You know this dog better than most. Um, and I think some said that he couldn't win from behind. So you yep. talk us through it. Look, when he, when he posied up where he did early, just into the corner, I thought he's strong enough to, to go past these dogs. Um, he's got a little bit of a flat spot up the back around the 600 boxes, but he was close enough that they weren't, they weren't getting away from him. He's four and there. Yeah, he's... Once he was on the rail, like Jeff said, he wasn't getting off it. He won't move off it, so he's a pig-headed bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he knows where the winning post is. Yeah, he does. Are hey, you not superstitious by any means? Uh, I asked where you were standing watching the race. Uh, I thought you might have been down here on the fence. I'm looking for a uh, man throwing the fist up in the air. It wasn't there, and uh, you reckon yeah. you, you got through last week and you just went to the exact same spot? I stood upstairs last week, and I thought, you know what? I'm not changing nothing this week. I'll stand up there as well with, with everyone. With our, all, their, all of his supporters, and um, we scream the joint down. Yeah. What's it mean for your families as well? I'll start with you, Jeff. To well, win. I've been in the game 45, 50 years, since I was 15. Off and on, have a break, have, and then come back to dogs. This is the best feeling ever when you're having a dog. The best feeling ever. There's so, nothing better feeling than this, what's yeah. happened here tonight. You know what I mean? It's just, I was in the 2009 Melbourne Cup with a dog called Remo Rubik. And tonight, this is it. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> right? It's just, it means everything to my family. I, I, I go and buy dogs, they don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a few more now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy them, they don't know, and then someone will let it slip. One of the rare and farms will let it slip. Yeah. And then I've got to own up to it. But, you know, you, things like this just don't happen to people like us. No, we're, we're battlers. <laughs> what, why, why is Aussie Rock so special? Why are you so special? <laughs> look at this, I it's love it. He's a beautiful he's, looking animal, just looking at him. But he's well put together, he's well compacted, he's, he's just a beautiful dog. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's, he's just a good kennel dog, like today. He slept all day. I, got a, I went into lunchtime to get him out for... Go to the empty out, and he's up in his, his legs like that. Yeah. 
Sleeping. So, and at yeah. three thirty, same thing again. Legs up in the air, just sleeping. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's, he's a relaxed dog. Relaxes in the kennels, goes to sleep. That's the sort of dog you want to win these races. So he won't be partying tonight, it sounds like. He, he, he'll, be, he'll be going home to bed. I don't know if we got that shot um, where you embrace Aussie Rocks because that's one of my favourite shots that I've seen um, covering this beautiful sport in any sport, really. It, it's just, it was a moment with yourself and the dog that you... There it is. What are you saying to him here? Oh, it's just a beautiful dog. Just yeah. well done, like, you know. We knew we had it in him. He just had to pod you up. Yeah. Get close to him, and he knows, doesn't he? He, he knows, knows he's knows. done something special. The dog that? Knows. Hey, that, won't, that won't be the last time it rings tonight, <laughs> yeah. don't you worry? That, that's Alan Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, um, now we were discussing it before. It's hard to believe that the Melbourne Cup champ hasn't got a slot in the Phoenix. There's a couple of slots left. Uh, I reckon you two boys would be pretty um, handy negotiators. He des- I think he deserves a spot now in the Phoenix. Surely, if you win a Melbourne Cup, you should be there. I think you should be too. Yeah. Exactly. We've what had else, a conversation. Win? Yeah. You know, Melbourne Cup's the, the best race in Australia. So. Yeah. We should be in the Phoenix. Yeah, so what will the process be now? Will you, when do you need a decision to be made? We really needed it to be made um, <laughs> la- <laughs> by, by Friday morning. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't get that, so, oh, well. We'll see what happens. Look, I've had the conversation with someone about it. So they're waiting for it till after tonight and then they're going to make a decision. So we'll see what happens. Jeez, they, they, don't, talk. they don't make a say yes after tonight. I don't know what more you can do, to be honest. No, and, and that, that's it. Like, he's, he's a very underrated dog. Yep. And, and especially at the Meadows, you know. Not many, many people rate him. We've come up against Postman Pat a couple of times. We beat him. We beat some, some very handy dogs at the Meadows. So let's see what happens. Hey, uh, just quickly, uh, if you go back and look through the history books, the winners of the Melbourne Cup go on to be stud dogs. Uh, I, I don't know if you've thought that far ahead yet, but we'll have a look at the past list. Koblenz, um, Aston Rupi, uh, My Redeemer, just to name a few. Dyna Double One, there's plenty on that list. Uh, there's, uh, there might be a few other duties along with uh, the entering a Phoenix slot. I would have thought. Um, probably for both years to discuss going forward. You're going to tell the family yeah. you're breeding dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Standing him. <laughs> Me and Jeff think we're studs, so... <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. Well, there's one thing, regardless if you get a run in the Phoenix or not, they can't take this away from That's you. Sure. You're Melbourne Cup champs. That's for sure. And That's I imagine you two lads will celebrate... Like no other Melbourne Cup chance to celebrate it before. Uh, oh. You're right there. <laughs> you're, right, you're right there. It's going to be a big party. Hey, geez, it's a pleasure interviewing you two after you live that dream. We know how much it means to you. People can see at home how much it means to you. Um, Aussie Rocks will go down in history as a Melbourne Cup champ. And as I said, no one can ever take that away from you, boys. Give each other a big hug, kiss. Um, and well done. Enjoy the moment, lads. And I guess sometimes it's in, in life that... Not many people get to experience these no, type of memories. No. Um, so hard to get into races. Yeah. Like so you enjoy it and um, live it up for the next couple of weeks. We'll enjoy it. Good on you, lads. Thanks, Thanks, very, thanks, much. Jeff thanks very much. Thanks very much. There we go. Jeffrey Mitchell and uh, Ray Britton joining us there after winning the Melbourne Cup.